I will repeat this later, but if you're a panelist and you need to get back um, to the hotel or the restaurant, make sure you let me know so I can find you a ride. Um, and if you have a car and you're going back down there and you can take someone, also let me know, okay? So, this afternoon, two interesting panels. The first one is, is um, going to be moderated by Janie Wamora, and I'm going to turn it over to her to introduce everybody and talk a little bit about the theme of the discussion. Alongside that, 
TV drama is demonstrably hostile to atheism, which is essentially seen as an extreme and immoral philosophy. In all these respects, I believe TV drama reflects the lived religion of mainstream America, a practice-based religion concerned with moral choices and personal growth rather than debates over faith and dogma. To be successful, television drama, unlike theatrical movies, must tread a fine line offending as few people as possible while also providing a stimulating story and character base and will bring audiences back week after week. And um, Liz does a wonderful explanation, explication of this where she talks about the failure of such faith-based shows such as Revelation and then goes to talk about that even a show that uh, is purportedly very, you know, deals with a very kind of scientific viewpoint like CSI always come back, comes back to the issue of faith. And then she goes on to a show that many of you watch, House, to perhaps our most beloved atheist, <laughs> House himself, and says how, you know, he's juxtaposed with characters of faith and what we are left with is this kind of grumpy, old, demoralized guy, right, whose life and crook we might or probably wouldn't want to be leading. <laughs> um, and so commentary is made in that way. And let me just some, uh, finish up with her final paragraph. Um, this rather bland approach to faith may seem secular to some, but I submit that it captures the overall picture of mainstream US culture today, where almost everyone professes a faith in some kind of higher being, even when they are alienated from organized religion. There will always be a media that that appeals to smaller segments of that culture more than others, and those media can be more explicit in their depictions of faith, politics, or anything else. But to reach the large audiences, TV drama is most successful when it speaks to audiences who live realities and the voices of familiar characters about whom they care. Um, when it comes to religion, it makes perfect sense that dramas like CSI, Law and Order, or Lost will not avert the religious at all, actually speak very successfully to the lived religious experience of the majority of Americans. Indeed, in the warm television landscape of faith, only the non-believer is left out in the cold. Um, so we thank Liz for her contribution. And next we'll be hearing about, and I'm going to go ahead and, and introduce Lynn, and then it's beyond, then I'll introduce the one coming, the live one, so on. Um, Lynn Schofield Clark is assistant professor and director of ESLO International Center for Journalism and New Media at the University of Denver. Uh, Lynn is an interpretive sociologist who studies how the practices of digital media audiences relate to issues of identity, family, relationships, and societal beliefs and ideologies. Her first book, From Angels to Aliens, Teenagers, the Media, and the Supernatural, received the National Communication Association's Association's Best Scholarly Book Award from the Ethnography Division. She is also co-author of Media, Home, and Family, editor of Religion, Media, and the Marketplace, and co-editor of Practicing Religion in the Age of Media. And the title of this paper today is You Lost Me, Mystery, Fandom, and Religion in ABC's Lost. Well, thank you, Jane, for that nice introduction. And thank you, I'll take this opportunity since I'm up here to thank Diane and also Lisa and Jane for putting together this whole project. This has been really a wonderful opportunity for those of us interested in the interdisciplinary study of religion and media to come together and bring various insights um, to the study of these kinds of phenomena. So um, with that, So for the past few years, I've been watching the series Lost and studying what's been going on in some of the many blogs and online forum that are de devoted to this program. I first got interested in Lost because of its supernatural dimension. Uh, maybe some of you know I wrote this book that Jane had referred to about how young people interpreted popular cultural stories of the supernatural in light of what they knew about religion. So I thought it would be interesting to see how young people interpret things like the smoke monster and the purpose of the island that the plane crashes on and the Dharma Initiative. I also like that like Buffy and the Matrix and to some extent Harry Potter, Lost has, a certain, has certain socially progressive themes. There's a collective sense of purpose and responsibility. There's